Hey, how's it going guys? Mr. Boss for the win here, and in today's Grand Theft Auto 5 video, I'm actually going to be talking to you guys about the idea and concept about Grand Theft Auto Online actually expanding to multiple cities, and we've actually got some evidence that this might actually be possible. So again, if you do like this video or find the information helpful, please feel free to drop a like on the video. I would really appreciate it, guys. And also be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new, or you like daily GTA 5 videos like this. And with that out of the way, let's get started. So the only reason I'm really bringing up this topic is because of a post that was found on the GTA 5 Reddit a few days ago, maybe even a few hours ago when you see this, and essentially it is some concept art of three cities, Los Santos, San Fierro, and Las Venturas, and if you don't know, that is Los Angeles, San Francisco, and Las Vegas, and those were the three cities that you basically played in in San Andreas. Now, if you don't know, GTA San Andreas had the largest map scale ever. You had to play in those three cities, it was huge, you got to go to three different different places and it made sense because it was pretty much geographically correct now I'll put another image on the screen right now for you guys and it's essentially the location of San Francisco to Los Angeles Los Angeles to Las Vegas and Las Vegas to San Francisco and that concept art kind of matches up as well so if something like this were to come to Grand Theft Auto Online, it would make sense that these are the two cities coming back because they could easily be A, swimmable, drivable, or you could even use something like the airport to basically fly yourself to one of these cities. That's kind of the idea based around Vice City, because if someone said, how do you bring back Vice City or Liberty City? Well, you can just hop in an airplane and travel there. And we've actually gotten some evidence from this in an article that was published, I believe, on August 15th. 2013 and the title is GT online will expand forever yeah it's August 15 2013 and essentially they talked to Leslie Benzies who is the Rockstar North president and he essentially said we're just going to add uh, on new things to it new places all the times so we have set this up and there are no limitations the only limitations are the size of the disk and how much memory we've got so essentially, maybe we could be talking about a future different cities DLC on a new generation of console because Leslie Benzi brought up the issue of you know the current generation of consoles and how they couldn't really handle that. And it's something that I think is really cool. He also goes on to say, we want this to last forever. We'll stop when we've simulated life, and that will be the end. So people keep saying that there should be different stories in different cities, and he keeps agreeing as well. I'll include a link in the description if you want to check it out for yourself. But essentially, the president of Rockstar North and Rockstar Games wants to add different cities, different ideas to Grand Theft Auto Online. He doesn't just want to stay in Los Santos, and I think that is truly awesome. When the president of your company who makes this game wants to expand into different cities and different ideas, that is awesome. I think he is very realistic in the idea that the new generation of consoles might not be able to handle a new city like Vice City or Liberty City or something like that. But I like the idea that on PC and on the next generation of consoles, something like this could be possible and it would be really freaking amazing. So let me know what you guys think of in the comments section down below. If you could only have one city to come to the Grand Theft Auto V universe, let me know what it be. Would it be San Fierro, Las Venturas? Would it be Vice City or Liberty City? Leave your comments in the comment section down below and why you like that city so much. Also, again, if you do like the video or find the information helpful, please feel free to drop a like on the video. I'd really appreciate it. And also be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new or you like daily GTA V videos like this. With that out of the way, guys, like I said, thanks for watching. Take care, and I'll see you guys in the next video.